hello all again we'll solve one more problem in the support reactions that is uh, determine the reactions at a and b of the overhanging beam overhanging beam as shown in the figure okay so we'll take the beam one side you have hinged beam i think you all know what is the difference between hinge beam uh, hinge support roller support simply support everything so please go through the theory for that this is point a and here you can see one rotating moment that is 40 kilo newton meter next you have one inclined force you have one inclined force that is 30 kilo newton with the angle of 30 degree this is point b this is e here you have one more support that is roller please go through the theory for all the difference between this one and this one and the last load is udl that is uniformly distributed load so this one i have marked the reactions at hinge support you have two reactions ha and ra and at the roller support you have one reaction that is rb so for this details you it will be in the theory part so we'll start the problem now as usual the first step is you have to write the conditions for this that is the system is in equilibrium that is sum of h is equal to sum of v is equal to sum of m is equal to 0 so this is the equation we have so after this so first equation is sum of h is equal to 0 that is resolving the forces horizontally resolving the forces horizontally now we will see all the horizontal forces so you can see here you have one horizontal forces and if you come like this you have one more horizontal force here because if this is a inclined force all already we know if the inclined force is there you need to resolve for both the direction that is one is for horizontal and one is for vertical so what is the value of this that is 30 sin 30 degree this is 30 cos 30 degree you know all the uh, resolutions how to do the resolving the things okay so uh, how many horizontal forces you have one and two that's it okay so we will write all the horizontal plus ha plus ha the force which is moving rightwards is plus moving leftwards is negative so already we know this right so plus ha and this is minus i'll just mark it this okay so minus 30 cos 30 degree is equal to 0 so therefore ha is equal to 30 cos 30 degree therefore ha is equal to you will get it that is 26 kilo newton we will write this here that is 26 kilo newton so we got one reactions 
so here remaining two is there right okay next one the next step is h is over next is resolving the forces vertically resolving the forces vertically comma sum of v is equal to 0 so we have to take the reactions one by one right first horizontal first vertical and then the moment first vertical next row. so how many vertical forces are there we need to collect it right we will come from this corner okay first that is plus r a next this one is a rotation it is already rotating this moment is already rotating at point d so you, you are not taking here this one you are taking this you are considering this it is in while while doing the moment we will consider this okay we will go here so how many vertical forces one see here you have this that is minus 30 sin 30 degree okay next come here so one plus c before going this don't go here you, because you will forget this so that's why come one by one so plus rb plus rb is going upwards next last one is u uvl sorry udl it is coming downwards that is minus 20 it is not minus 20 it is minus 20 into 2 please don't forget that udl means always it is distributed throughout the length so that's why you have to take 20 into 2 okay once again i will repeat this collect all the vertical forces in this step that is you can see plus ra Minus thirty sine thirty plus R B minus twenty into two, right? Is equal to zero. So now you need to solve this. That is plus R A. Okay. So you can see this after writing all the vertical forces. You can see uh, the substitution of this. That is plus R A plus R B. We will get this. So R A plus R B minus fifty five is equal to zero. R A plus R B is equal to fifty five. We are calling as equation number one. The next step is what is the next step? That is taking moment of all the forces at A. So as I told, take it any one reference point at the support. Take A or B. It's your wish, no problem. But if he mention, you have to take that one. He didn't mention anything here. So take it reference as A or B. Any one. I am taking for A moment at A, and I see here I have mentioned A also here, right? Okay. We'll see the moments of particular. forces now that is first force so this is your moment center now so keep your finger at the moment center like this and rotate all the forces right first one ha so if you are keeping finger and rotate the force ha how it is rotated it won't rotate because it is moving with the same line of action so it will become zero next this is plus ra it is also won't rotate it is moving with the same line of action it will also become zero and this one calculated moment is there it is already calculated and is rotating clockwise so that is plus 40 Next, here two forces are there. First, how it is rotating? It won't rotate because it is moving with the same line of action, so it will it will become zero. Next, this one, how it is rotating? It is rotating plus. So plus thirty sine thirty into what is the distance? One, two, three, four, five. So you wrote five. Next, this one R B. How it is rotating? Anti clockwise. So minus R B into six. Last load that is. UDL. So how it is rotating? See here, it is uh, separately. I am doing this. So twenty into two is four into two by two is one, and this one plus two plus three separately. I am writing because do not uh, you should not confuse with this. So forty into this distance separately. I am multiplying. So forty into sin is equal to zero. So totally, if you calculate everything, R B is equal to so R B. Minus, you will get it, 65.83 kilonewton. Therefore, R B is equal to shift that side, 65.83 kilonewton. Therefore, R B is 65.83. So you can see R B is equal to 65.83. Okay. After this, you have to calculate R A. So what is the procedure for R A? What is the procedure for R A? That is substitute R B in the equation number one. So I have written this. See here, substitute R B in the equation number one. That is R A plus R B is equal to forty three. Substitute this sixty five. Substitute 
this 65 here 65 is equal to 55 ra is equal to 55 minus 65.83 is ra is equal to minus 10.83 so we got ra rb and hc we got all the three reactions okay so we'll continue with the next problem in the next uh, video thank you